So this farm is part of a demonstration on bale grazing that Dr. Halich uh, is overseeing and Dr. Ray Smith, our forage extension specialist, and myself are involved in. One of our interests is looking at uh, the potential impact of bale grazing on subsequent forage yield in the areas uh, near the uh, bales because we know there's some damage around where cattle are eating those bales. We also recognize there's nutrient deposition from urination and, and fecal uh, nutrients being deposited. So we've got an opportunity here to get some preliminary information to see whether or not bale grazing is increasing forage productivity uh, and does that offset the potential losses uh, near the bale uh, when we have really wet conditions and we lose uh, some forage yield this first year. So we're looking at that using these cages. And so here's some exclusion cages. Uh, as an example, when cattle are in here grazing, these areas are protected and cattle cannot get into those areas so we can look at forage productivity. And this is the first week in June. And so we took our first samples from inside that cage and are gonna measure it for yield. And that is relatively close uh, to the bale. You can see the distance there somewhere about 10 feet approximately from um, the edge of the damage and then we've got another ring back here a little bit further away and so we've got two rings to try and see where the nutrient deposition may have impacted forage growth and the thought here to be honest is that the rings closest to where the cattle will be eaten will have higher nutrient deposition because that uh, exclosure there would have been at the tail end, if you will, of the cows where maybe more urine and, and more feces would be deposited compared to this uh, exclosure out here uh, that may not have received as much. But the offset on that is this area would also have less hoof damage or hoof traffic and so perhaps um, the, the slight addition of nutrients from cattle passing by and carrying nutrients from that bale back around here may increase forage yield and productivity. So this is an on-farm uh, demonstration that uh, was funded through a SARE grant to get us uh, some preliminary information on this alternative grazing system to try and increase nutrient recycling on pastures during the winter time. To, to complement the exclosure information because Again, this is just preliminary data and it's really more of a demonstration to follow some of the demonstrations, but trying to answer questions that farmers may have about uh, bale grazing and potential yield gains or losses. We're also using a rising plate meter, and so um, rising plate meter measurements are being taken around the, the bale, close kind of to the bale where foot damage may have occurred. Uh, we're going about, um, again, a yard or two out and then we're also going a little bit further out and then we've got some areas in the back that have not been grazed uh, they, they weren't grazed even through the winter time when the bell grazing occurred and we're taking some exclosure readings uh, and some plate meter readings from that area as well but um, so the plate meters are quick they're they're a way to get some idea of forage standing forage availability in a field you can do hundreds of those in a relatively short period of time, and the investment is relatively inexpensive. You can also go on the UK Forages or Google UK Forages and uh, look at how to build a falling plate meter uh, from details from Dr. Ed Rayburn from West Virginia University, a plexiglass and a, a ruler or a grazing stick, and, and you can build a falling plate meter and, and do kind of the same thing. We can also use a grazing stick out here as well. Uh, probably not as, as accurate as a falling plate meter or rising plate meter, uh, but certainly can be used to get an idea of standing forage availability. And we've got materials on the UK Forges uh, website for that as well. So I'd encourage you to go look uh, to get an idea of what kind of standing forage you may have. And, you know, out here right now, there's uh, 15 to 18 inches of forage, uh, quite a bit of growth already again after being grazed here about two weeks ago. So this field is certainly pro productive. Uh, but we do have some damage areas and so we're going to have some lost yield from these areas uh, for this year and, and potentially into next year and so we'll monitor this and see how quickly it fully recovers.